Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Good ben, morning. Oh, ben and I. Morning. What? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm like, what did I do? Uh, we are headed off to go snowboarding at Snow Valley. Ben came up with the idea. Couple... I've just been wanting to go snowboarding for a long time. I got denied my surfing when we didn't get to go to Hawaii. Yeah. And I've also just not really had just the money to go snowboarding. Kind of just off and out go snowboarding as well as I never... I didn't have my G2, so I couldn't just drive myself. Right. And even though we ended up going too. And so I've just been wanting to really go. And then it and, uh, ended up not being able to go snowboarding with any of my friends. Uh, so I was like, I was going to go by myself. And then I realized we'll probably make a pretty good vlog. Uh, and so... We'll make a good vlog. Here we are. The reason why... Okay, I haven't actually been snowboarding since we went to BC. Which was which when you were like nine. Or when eight. I was no, you're nine. younger maybe. So I was about ten years ago. We'll say that. Yeah. About ten years ago. That's crazy. I haven't been snowboarding in ten years nor was I any good back then. Um, he almost broke your legs, though. That was good. Yeah, perfect. He went, he went off trail and, and hit oh, a yeah, metal yeah. pipe. Oh, yeah. No, 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 it messed up my chin. Oh, you did, too, yeah. right? I have, I have, it was on the same spot that I messed it up pre previously. Um, but I haven't been in a long time. But I've been longboarding a whole bunch, and I know they're not the same thing. It's but similar, I would, though. But I would imagine I can use the same kind of balance and comfortable, yeah. like... Uh, feeling I have like on a longboard than I can on a snowboard. Plus, snow is a lot more forgiving than pavement. Not today, it won't be. Uh, yes, it will. It's it's like minus twenty, and I've cool. I started snowboarding when I was like 27, 26. Uh, I know I'm I know I started doing it before Carol and I got married. Wow. I bought my snowboard like the winter before we got married, and my parents were like. Why are you buying that before you're getting married? You need to save your money. I'm like, because when I get married, I know I won't be able to buy it. <laughs> so, yeah. I, so I bought it, and uh, which was great. It saved me a lot of money from renting and all that. So I have my own boots, my own snowboard. But like Ben said, it was going to cost me a lot of money to uh, wax the board and get it ready just to ski today. But all the experience, I because I used to snowboard a lot. And all, out of all my experience, cold days are the worst days. Because when you fall, man, it is like falling on concrete. It hurts. I can tell you firsthand, I would imagine pavement would hurt every time. Well, oh, for sure. <laughs> I'm just saying, when you snowboard, yeah. it's nice to ski in like, yeah, you know, warmer weather because if you zero fall, yeah. or whatever, because it's like kind of slushy. No, it's definitely true. I'm just saying, like, overall, uh, like, and I would imagine snowboarding's almost easier, depending on how you're looking at it, like. If you're snowboarding down the side of a mountain where there's no trails or anything, you're just going down and it's like lots of rocks and you're avoiding lots of stuff, sure, that's a lot harder than longboard. But what to like stop a longboard, you either have to foot brake, which isn't that effective, or you have to slide, which is a pretty difficult technique to learn. Yeah. Like I never learned how to do it and I was I longboarded for like two or three years. And to slide, you have to have a glove, and you have to be like on the ground and kick out your board. It's a whole, it's, yeah. a, it's a huge pain, and it's a, it's a really effective way to stop. But it's really, uh, for me, it was really difficult to learn that. And um, but I imagine snowboarding, you could just kind of, sh sh like you can, you can carve really easy. That's the whole point. You can carve, right? So right. you can slow down really well. Uh, or you can easily slow down if you are going too fast. You got this huge blade to help you slow down. Anyway, so let's head up Snow Valley, and it's the closest one to us. And then maybe uh, next week or in a couple of weeks, we'll we'll do Horseshoe Valley, and then maybe Mount St. Louis, Moonstone. We'll have to do night skiing because. And then the Alps. And then we'll go straight to BC. <laughs> go to Whistler. made it to Snow Valley. We grabbed uh, some Tim Hortons first. What'd you eat, Ben? Uh, I had a crispy chicken sandwich. And I had the turkey ranch or the turkey club. Killer boots, eh? Got 
up the boards, there's free gloves everywhere. <laughs> if you forget, just look around. You get some free gloves. Oh, uh, just go. Yeah, let's go to the first lift over there. Got, got your board. We'll have to do some quick social media first before we go. After a while, like when you ski for like a long time, it's kind of good to do that. It keeps the pressure off your heels. You just gotta be, oh, no. p participate. <laughs> That's it, they shut it down. I'm excited too. I hope I don't get hurt. The whole time I'm thinking, if I get hurt and I can't get for Carl because I'm like in the hospital, it'll like wreck our season. Put your right foot or your back foot on the back just to steer yourself. Wait for it. <laughs> yeah, let's go down the easy one first. Turns out they gave Ben a bogus board. The uh, the uh, the binding is all loose from the board. It's supposed to be stiff and rigid, and it's not supposed to move, but it's swiveling. So he's got to go change it or get it fixed. You all ready this time? Yeah, new board. All right, new board. Hopefully the binding stays secure. Maybe you'll feel you have more control now. fall down. Don't go like that. Keep on your toes. That's just, it. I don't even know. The hell just guides me. That was really exciting. <laughs> I think Ben just broke his shoulder. We hope not. Just hope it's a nice sprain. But yeah, we'll keep you apprised of the situation. Well, it's probably a broken collarbone. Um, yeah, the ski patroller guys did all the things they needed. They put oxygen on him because he started to shake, and so I said to get the car. Pick him up at the front door because he can't put his jacket back on. He just doesn't want to move. So, uh, made it over to RVH. It's almost like last week we were here <laughs> getting an x ray. So, 
Yeah, he's in a lot of pain still. And he bumped the car, hit, just drove him insane. Wow. Ben's now getting his x-ray. His, um, you can actually see his whole shoulder forward and there's a big bump right here. And so we looked up uh, pictures of broken collarbones, x-rays of broken collarbones. And it shows there's a bone that goes from, I guess, the back here over to your shoulder and it's possibly broken in half and sticking up. And that's why it's causing this bump on the side of his shoulder. So I don't know how they fix that, whether they put it as best they can back together, depending on how badly it's broken. Mm -hmm. If it's really bad, then they might have to do surgery. If it's poor Ben, man, it's starting to. 2018 off with a bang. How are you feeling after the morphine shot? Fantastic. Fantastic. It still hurts a lot, actually. Ben Not could... a lot, but it hurts enough that it's pretty uncomfortable. And Ben couldn't believe how long she stuck the needle in his stomach. So she I put didn't... one in his stomach, no, one in his the arm. The reason why I was so in disbelief because when I looked at both needles, it looked like a little bit oh. in each needle. But right. the one, I guess the one Go she left. put in my stomach like was a lot of fluid, my da dad said, so. Yeah, they're like almost, I don't know, 20 milliliters or whatever. Uh, so the needle was almost full or over half. Yeah. And uh, I so. I didn't realize. That's why I was like, what she the hell? She stuck it in. And Ben's like, usually they stick it in, squeeze it out. But because she had so much fluid to stick in. Oh, well. So Ben, so ben does have a broken clavicle. Left side. He's got a sling. So we're lucky there's no surgery. My, my worst fear was the surgery. I'll get Ben in the car. Well, that includes our adventure day for today. So uh, thanks everybody for, it was funny because I was, well, while Ben was wincing in pain, I was reading all the comments on Facebook and Instagram saying, stay safe, stay warm. And you guys basically cursed them. It was your guys' fault. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're gonna go home, relax, watch a movie, and then heal. Die. Heal. Die. We need a prescription first. Yep, prescriptions. Prescription first. Let's do it.